So in this video, I'm going to go over my old website and why I decided to redesign it to better fit my needs today as a graphic designer and as a content creator on YouTube. My current website looks like this. However, my new website that I plan to build on Webflow looks something more like this. I'm going to do a deep dive into all the decisions that I made while designing this website so you guys can kind of get a better understanding at what I was trying to do and what the outcome of the website is supposed to be. I'm going to go over layouts, fonts, colors, everything in this video. So if you enjoyed that, then make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to give a link to download this as a template for yourself for Figma. And if you guys are interested in watching how I build this on Webflow, then let me know down below because I can and will probably make a video about that as well. And really quick, just before we get started, I want to give a big thanks to all the 600 people that have subscribed to the channel so far. If this is your second time watching the channel, but you haven't subscribed, do consider doing that because 95% of you watching haven't actually subscribed. Okay, let's just jump right into the video and I'll explain to you guys my old website and why it isn't really working and why my new website is so much better. So this is my old website, and if you were to just kind of look at it from the first time you see it, you'll see this animation that kind of swoops in. And some people might be impressed with that, but I think it just slows down loading times and it just kind of makes it look a little bit childish. And this website I created about three years ago or two years ago as, as a website to kind of get a job as an intern or a junior and it doesn't really fit those needs anymore and now I want it to be kind of more serious and to kind of better represent my brand. So this is the website and it has all these cool animations but I mean some people might find this a bit childish like myself. Here I have some testimonials and there's a lot of animations that aren't really necessary really and here are some logos that again aren't truly truly necessary. I mean they're not all like huge logos but they, they do work sometimes and they are kind of important but I don't think they work particularly well in this website. Then we have the contact form at all the way at the bottom which I think works perfectly fine. I actually like receive the emails so it does work fine but I think design wise and styling wise it has a lot left to to be done or it's it can be improved a lot. And then the footer here, the footer's fine. I mean, I don't really have that much information anyways in the footer, so that's okay. But let me show you guys exactly how I decided to redesign my website and how much better it is. The first thing that you'll see on my new website is my new logo for my brand. If you guys are interested in knowing how and why I created this logo or why it looks the way it does, then make sure you let me know under the like button. So the first thing you see when you get on my website is two things, a big heading and a picture of an eagle. The reason for this eagle is because I don't have a picture of myself yet and this is kind of a placeholder and a lot of the website is placeholders. It's images that I need to fill and lorem ipsum text and a lot of that. So bear with me but the kind of the bare bones are there and that's what I'm showing you. So the first hero is I'm Arno Ross, a graphic designer and content creator based in Barcelona, available for freelance and collaborations. So I'm not too sure yet about this exact wording, mainly graphic designer because I don't really see myself as a graphic designer, more as a designer in general because I do I am studying product design and industrial design. However, I do also like to do a lot of UI, UX, a lot of packaging, a lot of branding. So I'm pretty much all over the place with design, but that's just how I like it. And that's what the channel is about. So as you can kind of tell in the hero, my website's purpose is twofold. One, to get clients for freelancing and for projects. And two is to get sponsorships and deals for YouTube. So if people want to get in contact with me for either of those things, this is the place to do it because I guess it shows all my work and kind of what I do and what I'm about. So the first section after the hero is the project section. So this is more for the professional side of things, for freelancing, for clients, all of that. And I've only done one other section or one other page for prototyping, which is the projects, and I'll get into that in a second. So the first thing you see are three projects, and you can click here on the plus section to kind of get more projects. But the reason behind this is because I only want to show a few projects, my best projects. And once you click on this, obviously, depending on the project, it'll go to the right one. It'll take you to this project page, which has a hero, a title, some description, challenges, what I wanted to do with the project, the client brief, all of that. It'll be here and then some images that kind of support the project itself. Now, I wanted this to be very image heavy, not really text heavy because I want it to be easy to navigate and not really time consuming to read. So I want it to kind of be like you can flip through it and just look at the images because that's really what impresses people and that's really what gets clients instead of the text and the writing. When you scroll to the bottom, you'll be able to keep moving on the site so there'll be more projects to go through and this kind of gets the client to kind of or the the person that's viewing the website to go from project to project to project and maybe in the end they can contact you and now that i'm thinking about it i maybe should add a contact me button here on all the project pages 
And you know, that's maybe that's something that you learn when you actually do a, a talk like this, you actually learn more things about the website. So after the project section, we have the next most important part, which is the content creation. So YouTube and how people can kind of get in contact with me. So here I'm gonna have a description about myself, what I do, what the channel's about, who my audience is, all of that and then an embedded video where people can actually see what the style of my videos are. Now here's a CTA or a call to action to actually get in touch with me about a sponsorship or a brand deal and that'll just kind of take them to the bottom section for the contact. Next up is an about me section where I'm gonna have a description about who I am as a person but not really too personal like I like puppies and hiking and all of that. It's gonna be more about what kind of design I do, what I want to do as a professional and what I'm geared towards, so it's gonna be more towards that. And then on the right side, I have a collapsing menu system, which kind of explains a little bit more about my branding, my packaging, and my website, so the services that I offer. And within that, a little description. And now this obviously has to be expanded on a lot, and I need to improve this section a lot if I actually wanna use it to gain clients and to kind of build the, the funnel for clients to actually hire me. I obviously need to expand on that, but that's not really the, the point of it just yet. Right now, it's just to kind of get the bare bones out there, and then in the future, I can build upon it. This section here will be a constant, infinite scroll to the left. So if you can imagine an animation and how that would look like, it would essentially just be constantly scrolling to the left. And another option that I have and that I'm thinking about is once I hover over it, it'll show one of the projects that I show before. So kind of a hover on, on an image or it'll, it'll show other projects that I've done, which you will be then be able to click on it. But I'm not really too sure on that yet. I have to kind of think about it more. Next up is a testimonial section where I don't have the logos like I did on my old website. And again, I think just having actual testimonials from real people and not really logos. If you haven't worked with big, big names yet, doesn't really make sense. I think testimonials are perfectly fine and that's it's all you really need if you haven't worked with like Apple and the BBC and all these big, big companies. You don't really need those yet. And then next up is the contact section where I kind of want it to be professional but still lighthearted. So I have a section here that says, looking to start a new project or just want to say hi, send me an email and I'll do my best, blah, blah, blah. So I'm trying to get them to actually write to me regardless of if it's for a project or you just want to get in contact with me about something, then I can kind of navigate the, the proper way to kind of talk to them if it's for a collab or, an, or for a project or a client or something like that. And then here there'll be a drop down where they can pick if they're for a sponsorship or an actual client. Next up is the blog section. So I'm gonna start writing content for SEO purposes. And I'm also gonna showcase my most recent videos. So you can kind of see that here. And then obviously the date will change depending on the date and it'll be very dynamic. And then next up will be the newsletter where you can sign up to receive an email every once in a while about new products that come out with, about courses. I am planning on a few courses in the future and also new videos that I come out with. And obviously I won't spam you guys. At the bottom, I have a footer with a few links that I will be deciding on, whether that's social, dribble, things like that. But yeah, this is my website and it's pretty bare bones, but one of the styling options that I decided on was to keep it really light gray and this black, or not really black, but really, really dark gray text. And the reason why you never want it to be black is because it's harsh on the eyes technically, but I don't really know if that's true. And this is just a really, really easy, site to navigate. It doesn't hurt your eyes, it's not pure white, and it follows one of the psychological tricks that I reviewed in one of my past videos where people can only focus on things, on a few things at a time. So I wanted to kind of, once they scroll, it's section per section, and it's obvious that it's a section. It's, it's very separated, and people can focus on a few things at a time. So they can read my content creation section, and then the about me, and people can kind of focus at one thing at a time. If you want me to review your personal portfolio or your website, then make sure you leave it down below and I'll make a video completely just about that website or a few websites together. If this is something that interests you, then let me know under the like button. There's a comment section, type it out. If you enjoyed this video, then also let me know. I'm really interested to know if you guys actually enjoy this kind of video. And let me know if you wanna see me actually build it in Webflow and doing a part series tutorial on that. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.